Come on, Mr. Doodles. We haven't got all day. We gotta get down to my favorite restaurant. Mind, we were shooting our first Krusty Krab commercial. After this commercial airs, we'll be swarming with customers. I can already feel myself sweating money. No, I got Squidward organizing the whole thing, you know? Artsy, what the... This looks expensive. Out of my way, coming through. Move it or lose it, Squidward. What? What in Neptune is going on? We're making a commercial, Mr. Krabs. Well, what are you doing throwing away me money? I told you to rent only what is absolutely necessary. This is all necessary. Then what's all this useless junk? That's the useless junk for scene, um, 28. Oh, well, then, how do you explain this? A second Krusty Krab. Mr. Krabs, everyone needs an understudy. Well, you got me there. What do you need him for? This job gets very stressful, Mr. Krabs. All right, all right. Good last, all of you. You're fired. Go on, scram. Get out of here, you moochers. That's right. Keep moving. Except you. You stay. Well, this is just great. Now I got no crew to make the commercial. What are you talking about, Squidward? We got the cheapest crew around in the world. You, me, and SpongeBob. Speaking of which, where's the little particle? I'm down here, sir. What are you doing down there, lad? Squidward said I could help by burying myself. Quit fooling around and come out. I need you to be in the commercial. <gasps> Me? I'm in the Krusty Krab commercial? Me? But, 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 Don't you throw your butts at me, Mr. Squidward. We got a timetable to keep. This thing airs tonight. Tonight? Yep, we got a sweet deal on that prime time slot. 328 AM. It's almost on, Gary. It's almost on, Gary. It's almost on. Meow. Yeah, I got butterflies, too. It's the most exciting thing to happen in the history of history. Look, Gary, it's on! Oh, Jen, we got a real problem. What's your problem, Amy? I got all this money, and I don't know what to do with it. And I'm hungry. Hey, who's there? What's that coming from? Yippee, it's Mr. Krabs! All right, Amy, I heard about your little problem, and I'm here to help. Follow me. Where are we? Why, we're at none other than the Krusty Krab. Did you say Krusty Krab? That's right, Krusty Krab, home of the famous Krabby Patty. What's a Krabby Patty? Oh, what? Why, it's the only most mouth-watering, appetizing food in the seven seas. There I am, Gary. There I am. We start with a fresh patty, grilled and juicy. Add some crisp undersea veggies and cheese. Top with a secret sauce and some buns. Voila! A Krabby Patty. I want a Krabby Patty. Me too. How do you like them Krabby Patties, girls? <laughs> Look, Gary. There I am again. Look. Two more satisfied customers. So, why don't you come on in and have yourself a Krabby Patty today? The Krusty Krab, come spend your money here. That was the best 60 seconds of my life. Well, time for bed. Time to go to my favorite thing, my favorite place. <laughs> hey, you. Top of the morning, Ulster. Hey, I saw you last night on TV. <gasps> You did? Yeah, the new Bran Flakes. Bold new taste. Bran Flakes. You were on that commercial. You're right. Wow, he recognized me. Yep, see you later, Bran Flakes. What a nice cereal box. Hey, weren't you on that guy on TV? Yes, I am that guy. <laughs> How kind of you to notice. Weren't you that guy on television last night? Yes, that was me. Oh, please excuse me, sir. 
Oh, that's right. That's okay, SpongeBob. Wow, I'm getting recognized all over. Why, next thing you know, people are going to start doing things like holding doors open for... <gasps> Why, sir, I'm flattered. Really? I don't smell anything. Nah, you're on your way, kid. Excuse me, sir, can I get a napkin? Why, of course, good sir. And next time, feel free to approach me. It must be so degrading to ask across the room. And who am I making this bad boy out to? To my tail fin? I'll get it to myself. F I N. There we are, darling. Hmm. Looks like Shine has got the best of him. There you are, SpongeBob. I need you to. No problem, Squidward. I got one already made out. Enjoy. <clears throat> to my tail fin. Love, SpongeBob. To my tail fin. Yes, I am that guy on TV. Hey, look. Please, good people. No photos at work. There's the ketchup. Well, maybe just one. <laughs> Another one. Okay. Limbo and uh, I got it. There you are, SpongeBob. Yes, pilot? I need you to... Uh... Ow! All right, boy. Get in there and scrub the head and stop acting so predictable. <clears throat> I'm so misunderstood, alas, good people. Even the brightest of stars grow weary, and I am no exception. But I will shine again after a quick break in my quarters. You've been beautiful. Hey, were you able to catch Glenn on Pinkfish on Flyderman last night? No, how was he? Well, I knew this guy asking was good, but his singing was phenomenal, I'm telling you. If that guy has cut a solo record, he'd be a hit. Solo record? <laughs> I think it's him. So, if I fire him and make his successor do twice the work and, uh... Hey, come in. Oh, it's just you, SpongeBob. Those heads better be beautiful. They are, Mr. Krabs, and so is mine. And now I gotta lay something on you, Krabs, baby. The only thing you better lay on me is some patties on the grill, fry boy. Nah, I can't take that gig, Crabber. The phase of my career is over. I'm an entertainer now. What in blazes are you talking about? Come on, Krabs. Think outside the box for a second. Commercials are old hat. The people want music. You could change fate I would. Crabsy, I'm an entertainer deep down. People's person. We're on the same page here, aren't we? Boy, those crabby fumes must have gotten to your head. Borrow Squidward's gas mask and get right back to work. I knew you understand. Well, thanks for the start. I'm out of here. Oh... Never felt such a strange combination of pity and indigestion. There he is. Hey, we've been waiting for you. Where have you been? How long have you been keeping us standing there? Well, SpongeBob, are you just going to stand there like a half-wit mouth agape, or are you going to fill these people's orders? Pipe down, Squidward. This crowd looks angry. They're not going to wait any longer. I think I better give them what they need and fast. I think so, too, or crabs will fire both of us. <laughs> On second thought, keep them waiting. No can do, Squidward. These people demand entertainment. Enter what? <clears throat> How are you doing, folks? Hungry. That's no problem, ladies and gents, because SpongeBob is here to satisfy. Hey! Eating here was your idea. I like to call this little number Striped Sweater. The best time to wear a striped sweater is all the time. One with the color turtleneck, that's the kind. Cause when you wear it, that one special sweater. Squidward, the crowd is insatiable. And why don't you get back in the kitchen and grab some pan patties and give them what they came here for? 
juggling. Thanks, Squiddy. That's a great idea. Boo! Is this some kind of joke? They want juggling and jokes at the same time? Oh, well. Tough crowd. Oh, now what is he doing? Uh, what do you call a vampire whose car breaks down three miles from a blood bank? A cab! We're losing our appetites. Okay, um, there's a Dunn, an astronaut, a hair dryer. We all want patties! Well, the most I can juggle is three, but the show must go on. Whoa! Blue! No! My career is over. All those years clawing up my way up, and the people I've stepped on, wasted. <laughs> Finally. Yeah, that's what we've been waiting for. They seem to like it when I put this patty on the grill. Maybe I'll be able to save this act yet. Roll with it, SpongeBob. Roll with it. There's more where that came from, folks. Yay! You like that? That's all we wanted all along. It seems to be working, but how do I follow it up? Buns! It's a stretch, but it'll have to do. Push the envelope sometime. Okay, folks. How do you like this? Yeah! I'm breaking new ground. Time to get edgy. We want onions. Cheese. Yay! Ready for the grand finale? Whoopee! Grabby buddies! Well, SpongeBob, looks like you finally found your calling. I'd say I'm so glad I gave up fried cooking for this.